and welcome to a Smurd P video and today I'm looking at Star Wars The Black Series Kanan Jarus. I'm not sure if you pronounce that correctly and it has actually been a very long time since I watched Star Wars Rebels now Star Wars for those who follow me is not something that I usually do and I probably won't do this again however seeing the Rebels team and seeing that I could have a a complete team of, of characters that I enjoyed watching and that my son was is really into. Um, it just seemed like a no-brainer. Also, the way that uh, Hasbro have sold it with these um, awesome new boxes, um, they just look absolutely phenomenal. It was something that I could not resist. And I'm sorry, I've got my stand and my phone just started coming off. Very sorry about that. Um, my phone started coming off. Um, my stand, so even when I have a stand, because um, I know sometimes when I do reviews, my hands shake, and oh my goodness, it's fallen off again. This is not working as planned. Um, okay, I'm going rogue. I'm going to hold this thing. Right, so there we have it. Damn you, dodgy stand. Right, so as I was saying, the box is absolutely stunning. I really dig how this looks. On the side, you just have the beautiful artwork again. And then here is the little synthesis. Not every Jedi perished in Order 66. Canon survived the Emperor's Purge, going underground for years and hiding the truth about who he really was. I dig that. So um, also I want to give a shout out to Comics and Cocktails um, for providing um, brilliant service as well. And I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the wave from them as well. Apart from Zeb, I really dropped the ball with that one. Uh, but I'll get him eventually. So the head sculpt is really nice and reminisces of uh, Kanan, I guess, in probably the first two seasons where he kind of had the goatee and um, he had the, the Jedi hair, which is uh, expected from a Jedi. Um, one thing that I would have liked is um, after that, when he goes blind, I think if I remember rightly, it's been a while since I watched it, he uh, he shaves his hair off and I think I would have uh, enjoyed a second head because I think it, it made sense. He's um, got some nice, de nice detail in terms of he's got this shield on the side. Very nice uh, Rebel logo there and it's got number two on there, so it's like two pilot. Um, and then the, the detail on the cloth is very nice. It looks like it's, I don't know, been, it's like a jumper sort of type thing. Some nice detail on the sign. Then he's got the little gloves there. Nice little belt there. With, um, I like the holster. I'm very, very a big fan of holsters and guns being able to slot in places. And then he has some beautiful, beautiful uh, boots down here. Uh, one thing, I'm sorry, it wouldn't be a review without dropping it. He does have this slot here, which um, I just had the lightsaber in. Um, only problem with that, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic that they, they had that. But um, you can't take the, the tube out of the lightsaber. So this is just me being me. Um, I thought that was very strange because it made sense. And... I thought, it, wow, they've, they've given us a slot to, to stick this, and then you can't take this bit out. Um, so I was quite frustrated by that. Um, the lightsaber itself looks a bit bendy. Um, I'm not sure whether that's just me, or whether it's just been bent out of shape slightly. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get that back to how it should be. He comes with his gun, which is a very, very nice gun. Looks uh, worn, like it's uh, like he's had it for many, many years, um, and obviously he was in hiding, so it would make sense that he would have a, a gun just for for protection. He probably didn't want to reveal himself as as a Jedi. So I think it looks uh, very, very nice. Um, I also like the detail on here. Um, you can also slot um, this little bit here. 
and you can slot that on the front here. However, once again, it's stupid because you would, well, you would cut his leg off, um, so it makes no sense whatsoever. Not whatsoever, so I don't understand that, but anyway, there's that. And here he is holding the lightsaber, and he does hold it very well. You can get in two hands. Um, I'm not going to say that it's perfect. It's not, but um, definitely... Um, Definitely something to work with. Um, I think it looks very, very nice um, in, in his hands. Um, and I know that I've spoken about the head sculpt already, but I think uh, Hasbro did do a bad job with that at all. So a very, very nice figure. Obviously, I don't have any other Star Wars figures uh, to show him with. And he's probably, um, like I said, I'm probably only going to focus on the Rebels and nothing else. I may have to get some Star Trek. Uh, Star Troopers, Storm Troopers, uh, to fit in with this, and maybe a Vader as well, I'm debating that, um, I've got a Soaker ordered as well, and she definitely needs a Vader to fight, so, um, pretty, pretty cool, I'm, like I said, a bit disappointed about not getting a second head, you know, especially if this is a re-release, which I believe it is, it just makes sense. I also feel like the gun is a really nice addition to it because you, in Rebels, they were always uh, kind of hitting and, and going on the run quite quickly. So um, having a couple of pot shots and, and doing a runner made perfect sense for, for this character, so I like the gun. Um, also, uh, a big shout to Comics and Cocktails for um, the usual brilliant service as well. Um, and... I don't have any more of these figures yet, so this is the first one that I managed to get. I think Chopper's out now. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a chance to pick that up in the next little week or so. But um, on that, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. My page is P. Follow me on uh, Twitter, at P, Tweeting and stuff that I don't really understand about. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.